How's it going everyone? Spenny here. Today we are going to be building the most expensive Lego set I've ever owned. This thing is a beast. Like I have never seen in person a Lego set larger than this. It is the 2009 Venator. This is what it looks like. And let's get right into this. Wow, there's the build. I am super happy with this. Um, one thing I do need to mention is that I did look into this later on after the build and I did realize that the kind of reddish pieces are very fragile so when I was taking it apart a few of them broke so I had to place them where they would look best. That's why on the wings we only have three on each side when there was supposed to be five not really going to complain about that. This set is old, man. I got this set in 2009. Also, I just realized today, I'm today years old, when I realized that there's a carrying handle. All along I was carrying it very awkwardly, kind of from the bottom. This thing is huge. Like, look at this. But, yeah. This is my most expensive Lego set, by far. Um, as I said, got it in 2009 at, like, basically at release. Um, I kind of had it in storage for the longest time because it's, it's too big to kind of store anywhere. But I'm very happy with it. I totally forgot it was this big, honestly. It's been a while since it was built. Honestly, not too much to say about it other than I'm freaking happy that I never sold this when when I, I, I kind of went through like a selling phase, like I think we all do. Like as you grow up, you're like, oh, I don't use this anymore, I want to get rid of it. For me, I don't know, Lego was the one thing where I was like, I do want to sell it, but you know what, I might end up going back to it, because it's like kind of a collector's thing. I mean, as, as kids, you kind of like playing with it, but then as you kind of grow older, you're like, you know what, it still looks sick to display, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not taking this back apart. I'm going to be displaying this, and yeah, I, I hope I don't get into uh, Lego spending habits, because that, that, that could be dangerous, but that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse I made, because that did take me quite a while. I didn't get to finishing the editing portion of the time lapse until I got Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, that's fun, that's new because it's included with my school and like tuition, whatever. Because the other two softwares didn't want to deal with five hours of kind of building. I didn't do it in a time lapse mode on my camera because I don't have one. I kind of just recorded video, like five hours worth of video, and then I was like, oh, I'll time lapse it later. But uh, it didn't really want to work because, I don't know, the apps are just kind of garbage that I was using before, like iMovie, Clipchamp. 
I put it all into Premiere Pro. I, I almost didn't make this video because I couldn't. It just wouldn't let me. Throw it all into Premiere Pro. It uh, it all buffered in like a minute, and then it exported in like nine minutes, and and that's how you have this whole video today, and that's awesome. Um, just to show you one other thing that I don't think I showed you, I love kind of the open concept portions of like this whole ship. It's amazing. But yeah, that's gonna conclude my building of the Venator from 2009. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If I do, if I do happen to buy any more LEGO sets, let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to do another time lapse for you guys? Because I'd be happy to. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I mean, it, as you know, it, it did take me a while, but it was well worth it. So, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.